Glenn Holland had a lifetime of plans to write a symphony. That's what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. And to raise a family. Radio City Music Hall is proud to present Coltrane, Gershwin, Holland. But before he can fulfill his dreams... We should do nothing but compose music and become famous. He'll have to face the music. It was good. A teacher has two jobs. Nobody could teach these children. Fill young minds with knowledge. You're telling me that you cannot teach a willing kid to bang a drum? But more important, give those minds a compass. Turn around and keep marching. Left, right, left. It's a compass. You're stuck. Now you're going a little too fast, a little too erratically, just a little. There you go. OK, what have we learned from this? Mr. Holland, it has come to my attention that you are teaching the students rock and roll. I will use anything from Beethoven to rock and roll if I think it will help teach a student to love music. Now, despite life's disappointments... There's something wrong with Cole. What? I don't think he can hear. Despite life's frustrations... You go off to school every day with all of your children who are normal. I can't talk to my son. You care more about teaching other people than you do about me. Glenn Holland possessed the passion to overcome it all. I'm giving up the clarinet. I just wanted to say thanks. What do you like best about yourself? My hair. Why? Um, my father always says that it reminds him of the sunset. Play the sunset. I got dragged into this gig kicking and screaming, and now it's the only thing I want to do. You know, the big problem here is that you people are willing to create a generation of children who will not have the ability to think. We've done the best that we can. Your best is not good enough. For 30 years, Glenn Holland found a way to make a difference. Mr. Russ, congratulations, you found the beat. And of all the lives he changed, the one that changed the most was his own. Mr. Holland, of all the teachers here, you're my favorite.